Now, when it comes to showing the, let's say, left, left um, tail, let's say this is left tail test, and you have uh, the right tail test. Now, when it's left at tail test, and let's say our null hypothesis uh, is true to 95%, then of course now we'll have this. This is our, this is um, acceptance region. This we have there. HO, this is confidence level, let's say EG 95%. So this will be the rejection, region, this is two, no, not two, but um, now 5%, the complete one, complete one. 5%, which is alternative hypothesis, eh? Then, this one will be acceptance. Region, which is HO. Ninety five per cent. Mm -hmm. So you're having this is now right hand side or right tail test. So this being the rejection. Region, this is a 5% and this is H1. Yeah, look at that. That, when you come to the left tail test and right tail test, You'll note that uh, the left tail test is when the rejection is on the left hand side. And uh, because it's only on one side, if our null hypothesis is 90%, 95%, then automatically the alternative hypothesis will be 5%, and therefore the rejection region is 5%. When this right hand side or right tail, uh, right tail test, then our null hypothesis, which is assuming is 95%, then of course, this being the acceptance region, then the alternative must be the 5%. And in this case, when you are determining the value of uh, Z, you want to know the Z here. So this is going to be negative Z, and this will be Z. So we'll have it as a probability is, look at this, this complete half, because our tables are designed to study half of the distribution, our half is 50%. We want to know from this uh, half, or from the middle point, we have the mean, to where the value of Z will be, that area, what will be the value, what will be the area. We'll just say that we know that uh, the entire of this area acceptance is 95%. If we omit or if you excuse the this right hand side uh, half, which is 50%. So that now we can have the balance being on the left hand side and where the 5% now would start. So we'll say it is actually the confidence level minus 0 0.5. So in this case, it's like saying that um, you're having a whole of 0 not uh, 0 0.95 minus 0 0.5. So the answer will be 0 0.45. What does it mean? It means that on this side, left-hand side, uh, eliminating the 5%, we 
you remain with an area of 45% because you know from the half, from the middle point on your left is 50%. So excusing 5%, you are left with 45% which is along or uh, within what? The acceptance region. So from the Z or from the normal distribution table, you now read this area which is within the acceptance region because it is the area that is deviated from the mean, from the middle point. So that is now 45% uh, or 0 0.45. And you know clearly that uh, the value of Z here is 1.65 from the table. Then when you come to this one, you'll discover that um, the same same, that pr probability here will be zero point, no, no, we'll be having the confidence level, then you subtract. So confidence level is minus 0 0.5, this will be 0 0.95 minus 0 0.5, which of course is um, 0 0.45, the same, same case. Eh? The only thing is that um, the value of Z in left tail must be negative because we are on the negative side, but the value of Z on the right tail will be uh, positive. I've just hypothetically chosen 95%, but if I am having 90%, you do the same, same th thing. You'll do 90%, which is 0 0.9 minus 0 0.5. You get 0 0.4 complete. And actually, 0 0.4, you may end up getting like a 1.3, 2.3. Uh, in the table, uh, uh, two three there or two eight in our table, then um, if it is 99 percent, 99 percent, this would mean 0 0.99 minus 0 0.5, which will give you like a, a 0 0.49. 0 0.49, I think, you from the table, you'll get like a 2.33. 2.33. So it's good at least to know these values of Z from the table given these uh, areas, and that is something uh, to note. So that is left tail test and uh, the right tail test of um, these uh, one tail uh, test. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our professionally prepared study text and revision partners. Visit our shop along Tomboya Street, Pioneer House, third floor, opposite fire station.